Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the channel. Uh, just providing a quick update on the status of the ship. Yeah, so I completed the oil rig. And these uh, boxes here inside, this is the, the refineries. There's six. Uh, there's three on this side, three stacks on this side, and three stacks on the other side. So should be able to refine oil uh, really quickly. Uh, and then I added these cranes. These are the container cranes. I don't know if they go out, if they're going to go out uh, far enough or not. May have to find a way to extend this, this. Maybe I'll double up and extend the sides. So that's something else. And then, of course, we needed the container handler. So I had to add the container handler. And so what the container handler will do is it will slide out. So the container handler will slide out onto the dock, right? You'll unload that. And then, oh look, there's another, there's a neat, uh, there's another tug going by. Cool. Uh, anyways, yeah, and you'll have to unload. Container handler can then bring the containers over to the ship. And uh, I'll be able to load them, hopefully. This is all like in my brain, right? I haven't actually tested any of this to see if it's actually going to work the way I think it will. But yeah, this is where we're at. So we've got the container handler on the ship now. I had to modify the superstructure so that way I could fit it uh, this way. And I'm just ready to add the mineral uh, bins, probably on this lower deck in the back. Um, I also reshaped the hull. Yeah, let's see here. I reshaped the rear of the hull so it, it looks more like a boat. There. Yeah, because it came out and it was just a pure wedge, like strange thing. So I kind of shaped it a little bit more. I know it's, it's still kind of sharp. It's a little bit hard to see with that color. Uh, but yeah, it's still kind of sharp. You know, maybe this doesn't rise up as high. Uh, but anyhow, I think it just it kind of cuts back the shape a little bit in the rear. Gives us more of a more of a boat sort of boat feel. And then, of course, I'm going to make these... Uh, I'm not going to leave these square like this. I'm going to soften them with, with angles, right? So they're not so sharp. Uh, right, so inside, I'm just in, in merge mode here. Sorry. Inside, this is the refinery center. All right, so we've got six of these. So I'm going to need to build... Um, there's a way to access it from this deck here. You can access it here, and we can access it in here. I'm going to just need to build some stairs or something. And I think one of these rooms, this gets it out to the uh, oil rig. One of these rooms is going to be the, probably this room here, is where I'll build the center. The refinery center, the oil drilling center, with the cameras and all that kind of stuff. It's going to be neat. Right, so now the last thing um, <clears throat> that I need to figure out is where I want the minerals to be. And probably what I'll do is I'll have a couple of cranes with uh, extendable um, extendable mineral bins on it with funnels to act kind of like a, a conveyor belt. So the crane will swing out off the ship, you know, similar to these, right? It'll swing out off the ship and I can position it over top of the, uh, the mineral storage thing on the dock. And then I can just actively uh, offload the ship, right? Uh, on either side. Either side, I'm not sure. I don't know if I'll need just one crane. Maybe I'll have one crane, one master crane for that, or two. I'm not sure yet. Yeah. And then uh, the last thing to add will be just a couple of small kind of man cranes. Just a couple of tiny cranes for whatever, just for sort of show. And then, yeah, I'll be ready to uh, connect <laughs> everything and start to add the screens. Yeah, so this is where we're at. I'll provide an update once I've got the mineral, the minerals uh, figured out. So now we have oil and we have containers with this ship, which I think is pretty good. Or fluids, I guess. We can buy and sell fluids. I haven't finished the uh, connecting the bins yet either, the fluid tanks. So the fluid tanks are down on the bottom. There's three of them. This is them here. They're not very large. I don't know what they hold, but 
only 40,000 uh, uh, each. Yeah, only 40,000 each. Not very much, but it's not meant to be... It's not meant to be a super, like a super duper, super tanker. I might be able to, I might, I might actually extend those. We'll see. When it spawns in, it, these are full of water when the ship spawns in. So it, this is its, it's um, fully loaded, right? I can't do minerals, but I don't imagine minerals are going to, I mean, I don't know. But I guess in my mind, I imagine minerals maybe not cost, uh, not weighing a whole lot. I'll have to get some coal. So yeah, as you can see, there's still a little bit more displacement that we can get on this. I don't want it to be too low because we have the, we have things that we want to offload onto here. And if we're too low, then I'm not going to be able to continue to use those, right? So I'm limited really in the amount of liquids that we can trade with with uh, this however when you think about it in the individual sense um if i was to say have my oil rigs set up in the desert okay i could then carry you know over a hundred thousand uh individual oops, individual units of liquid so yeah it's pretty decent so if that was jet fuel, I mean that's six hundred thousand uh, dollars in jet uh, dollars in jet fuel in a single run, right? And this thing, because it's nuclear powered, it should be able to sail wherever we need to get to to sell. And the same and the same thing with so the capacities are there, capacities are there. I, like I say, the oil is uh, I know getting oil from the sea is kind of hit and miss, um, but I guess my understanding is you could plant the wellhead on the ocean floor and it can stay there. And all you have to do is feed rod down to it. So once you find the oil and you've drilled for the oil, uh, I put a connector on the top of the wellhead. Or not a connector. Oh, maybe that's what I'll need to do, actually. Yeah, that got me thinking. Ooh, I don't have the room anymore. <laughs> that's too bad. Well, I guess we we would have to it would have to be independent anyways. That wouldn't work. Yeah, it would have to be a separate sort of thing. Maybe that's some food for thought for the future. But anyhow, yeah, yeah. So if it'll still uh, you'll still be able to get a decent amount, I think. You could get oil, fill it up with oil, and then refine. And so there's a way of doing it, I guess. Yeah. But we're pretty much we're pretty much at our getting close to our maximum weight. And I'm surprised I was able to get the container handler on there and it handles that way. So yes, uh, just an update here, continuing to update the ship. And next we're doing minerals and that'll be the next one. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.